Amid the naval cluster outbreak, the military is facing criticism for being lax with its coronavirus measures. Navy sailors had gotten on and off the ship, though it was meant to be sealed for quarantine. In addition, photos have surfaced on social media showing sailors working in Palau without wearing face masks. President Tsai Ing-wen has asked the Defence Ministry to investigate and to hold those responsible to account. When the fleet of friendship returned to Taiwan, the president waved from ashore. She kept a safe distance from the Pan Shi vessel as a coronavirus precaution. But in the end, she was exposed to a virus risk much closer to home. That risk was her chief of the general staff. On March 15th, he presided at a ceremony for sailors who completed quarantine that day. He had been surrounded by sailors who had been in close contact with confirmed cases. The following day, he attended a routine meeting at the president's residence. The presidential office has released a statement saying that Tsai and Huang kept a distance of at least 1.5 meters at all times. All participants at the meeting passed a fever screening. Shoes and hands were disinfected, and they all wore face masks throughout the meeting. Of course, we're treating this matter with the most stringent protocol. There is a team of medical experts monitoring the president's health at all times. The president says it's very regrettable that the fleet of friendship outbreak has become a public concern. The government said that the military, besides apologizing and taking responsibility for its oversight, needed to learn from the incident and fully cooperate with the Central Epidemic Command Center to prevent further spread of the disease. The president also asked the Ministry of National Defense to launch a probe into the matter. The executive yuan shouldn't let the Ministry of National Defense conduct an investigation on itself. The Ministry of National Defense is the subject of this investigation. The legislative yuan's Foreign and National Defense Committee requested that the Ministry of National Defense and Navy Command deliver a report on the matter at the legislature on Wednesday.